This week's tailgate conversation is presented by Pinnegar Chevrolet. I'm John Gayer and we're in Ashgrove, Missouri at Gordon's Feed and Pet. Pulling into Gordon's Feed and Pet, you wouldn't guess the traditional feed store setup would not only carry feed for Angus cows, but also zebras. Oh, and everything in between. We're a feed and farm supply store, mostly focused on the animal nutrition, uh, whether it's uh, a pet ferret or a horse or a cow calf or maybe even a show pig. We have the ability to feed all animals. We began our business in uh, December of 1979 here in Ashgrove and over the years we've expanded uh, Greenfield and uh, Marshfield, Rogerville and Clever. So we have five locations in the surrounding area around Springfield. The original store calls Ashgrove home and as you pull in the gravel lot and walk across the original hardwood floors you see and feel the history in the old feed store, which was built in 1955. Greenfield was the second location to open its doors, and John says both of these locations cater to traditional agriculture, where the others have diversified to also include specialty animals and equine. Our basic customer is still the full-time farmer, but it has changed in the last several years that there are those hobby farmers, or maybe they've uh, got five or six chickens in the backyard and want to raise their own eggs. Some of the larger farmers are getting larger. Uh, some of our customers that are in on the, uh, the small animal, where it be a, a dog or a cat or several dogs or several cats, they're becoming more part of the family. So uh, one of Purina's uh, sayings has been, we make better animals and animals make better people. So there's that connection there and we feel proud to be part of that. Gordon's Feed and Pet also prides themselves on employees who are there for their customer to answer any and all questions, but also never forgetting customer service. The, the knowledge and service, that is the two things that we like to focus on. So if someone does have a question or is a new animal owner that they'll be able to come to any of our locations and have someone there that if they have a question or if we don't know that specific answer, that we know we can get that for them. So, and then the service side that we'll be able to help them uh, you know, load their products and understand how to uh, feed their animals and stuff. The storefront of each location also carries a variety of vaccines, fencing supplies, treats, collars and leashes, ear tags, and the list just goes on and on. John is running a business, but the future of agricultural community is at the core of this locally owned and operated business. We try to be involved uh, basically in the youth of that area where it's 4-H or FFA. Uh, There's some other organizations in the schools that we also where they're at, uh, uh, participate in. Uh, whether it's a band promotion or uh, some type of uh, fundraising activity, help with the food or we uh, help with the location or advertising. So yes, we try to be involved in the community side because that's, that's our future and that's their future. That we hope that they stay in the local area and learn about agriculture. Three things you need to remember about Gordon's Feed and Pets, quality products, service for the customers, and a staff of knowledgeable employees. And don't forget, they are located in Ash Grove, Greenfield, Clever, Rogersville, and Marshfield. Welcome to my tailgate. My husband, Kevin, and I, along with our feisty four-year-old Harper, call Lebanon, Missouri home in Laclede County. In fact, Southwest Missouri has always been home to me. We raise Hereford and Charlotte cattle along with our families. We also have a horse named Maddie who gets saddled up from time to time. The latest addition to our farm are Harper's two pigs. Meet Chase and Skye. Harper just exhibited in her first pig show last week and is hooked. Bring on the county fair. She will also be showing her first Hereford heifer, Everest. Who recognizes a theme to these names? Kevin and I grew up showing livestock and we have loved watching Harper take on the love too. Well, that's just a glimpse into my tailgate. So much more to come. Join me next time from the tailgate.